is Jesslyn Sanchez. I'm 26 and I'm from Tacoma. I have a lot of witchcraft um, in my family. My grandmother's a witch on my father's side. And so when I discovered that there was witchcraft in my family, um, God started to reveal a lot of the deep rooted things in my life. So I was experiencing a lot of um, deception, a lot of perversion, a lot of anger, bitterness, uh, unforgiveness. I would get attacked in my sleep, in my dreams. I would actually have demons sleep with me in my dreams. I would have um, like demons that like attack me, bite me all over my body. I would wake up with severe migraines. I w they would be so severe sometimes that I um, would get blurry vision. I wouldn't be able to just, I wouldn't be able to keep my eyes open. I would just have to lay down wherever I was. I couldn't read the Bible. I couldn't pray. I would fall asleep while reading the Bible. Uh, I would fall asleep while praying. And during those times, I would actually manifest and I would really be tormented trying to pray, trying to read the Bible, trying to develop or cultivate a relationship with God. It was like hindering me. When we were back here for intake, I could feel myself manifesting um, and the manifestations just kind of got a little bit stronger, but I would just hold back a little bit. Um, but when I was sitting down waiting for the prayer line, I was manifesting. There was some shame and guilt that kind of arised, um, like don't manifest. Um, and I just wanted to wait for some reason to get into the prayer line. I don't know why, but this lady behind me, I heard her screaming out when they were calling out witchcraft. Um, and then I just surrendered. I just surrendered where I was and I said, no, you're, you're leaving and um, I'm done being tormented. So I just surrendered to God and his, his, his power took over and started that deliverance there in my seat. They took me up to the front to pray for me and I was actually screaming on my way out of the benches into the front and um, all I can really remember was that I was screaming a lot, just screaming. I could just feel the torment of God on these demons. Bryson asked me, uh, how did, or asked the demons, how did you enter? And they didn't want to speak. They just kept saying no. And they eventually said through witchcraft through her grandmother. Um, and then I just remember a lot of screaming and a lot of um, demonic deposits started coming out. I was coughing it up. And um, when that was happening, I, ha I felt things crawling all over my body and I was just kind of shaking. And um, what Bryson did is actually he drew a cross on the back of my spine and that's where I felt the demon and I didn't say that to him. So he just drew a cross and I just kept coughing up, coughing up and the demon left. He said, you are free and just worship the Lord. When Bryson said, you are free, I just, I don't know how else to explain it other than I could breathe. Like I could actually breathe through my nose. I could feel air in my lungs. And I just believe that it's the breath of life that God breathed into us when he created us. I I could feel that life in me. I, I just feel light. I feel happy. I just feel so free. I feel so much joy. I... I don't know, I just feel so free, like I feel light and it's just so amazing. I think my word of encouragement would be is kind of like what Pastor Vlad was saying today, like make your demons come to church, make your demons listen to worship, make your demons read the Bible, torment or torture them because they're tormenting you. Um, and uh, I say that because I've been through several deliverances actually, like prayer line here, Race to Deliver conference, um, been delivered even at home, the Lord has delivered me. And um, seek Him, seek Him, surrender to Him, fight back, declare over yourself that you are free, declare His truth, declare His promises, declare just that you are free even though you aren't fully free yet. Declare it and believe it and just continue to press it into the Word and prayer and don't get discouraged because He is there with you. He is there with you and He will deliver you. Your breakthroughs around the corner. Um, so yeah, just surrender <laughs> to the Lord.